Okay, how's it going guys? And welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Uh, so today, we're going to be playing Pokemon Eternal Order. So this is a fan game that I saw on Relic Castle. Saw the screenshots, saw that it looked pretty interesting. And uh, I thought we'd go ahead and play it. So uh, yeah, it is completed, or at least it says it's completed. So yeah, that should be interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. If you want to play it yourself, link will be down below. With that being said, uh, let's start. Fast, on, set, awesome. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm sure you already know quite a lot about Pokemon, so I won't bother you with any unnecessary details. You'll learn more about this world as you go along your journey. If you need any help, however, please let me know. Just know that my name is Laurel, the Pokemon professor who's been assigned with giving you your very first Pokemon. Well then, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself, for example? Are you a boy or a girl? Uh, boy? Yes. And what did you say your name was? Ah, I see. You're Mark. And you're currently living with your best friend in Nora's City. I get it now. Well, Mark, I'll see you later at the lab, where I work at. Please don't be late. Yo, Mark. You finally woke up? Are you still having trouble with sleeping? I already got my Pokemon earlier today, so I think I'll go and get some items for the road before I get out of Norris. You'll have to go and get your starter by yourself, it seems. Later. Okay. Nope, not that. Mine. Oh, hello, Mark. Did you sleep well? Seth has already gotten his Pokemon from Laurel a few hours ago. You know he's not that the patient kind, so you better hurry and get yours too, or you'll be left behind. Got it. I don't like the nature my Pokemon had, so I bought a vitamin bar from Shuro City long uh okay, cool. Interesting. Let's look around before we uh, head to the professor's place. Wait, what? Psychic does neutral damage to steel. So there's some tight matchup changes. Okay, because psychic is steel usually resists psychic. So now it's neutral damage. Got it. Fairy is resisted by grass, bug, and psychic. Okay. Ice resists flying and ground. Got it. Okay, so those are the changes. Okay. I definitely got to remember that. So Ice got a bit of a buff getting some uh, some resistances. Because usually Ice only resists itself, I think. So now it resists flying in ground as well, which is nice. Steel loses one of its resistances to Psychic, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Because it has like 10 already. So losing out on one is not, not that bad. I think Fairy got the biggest... Uh, for what it seems, it got the biggest uh, nerf, because now it's resisted by three extra typings, being Grass, Bug, and Psychic. 
I think I read that right, right? It's resisted by those typings now. Hey there, Mark. I'm glad you made it too. I wanted to wait for you so we can choose our first Pokemon together. But, you know, since Seth already made it here before us, I didn't want to be the last one out of us three to pick our starter. Don't worry though, Professor Laurel still has a lot of Pokemon that you can choose. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. Wait, is that mine? Is that all that's left is Pachirisu? <laughs> Ah, uh, Mark, so you've arrived as well. Well, do you see the machine on your left? Oh, okay, I'm not getting the Pachirisu, okay. <laughs> that is where we store all the Pokemon that we hand out to trainers. These are very rare Pokemon from many different regions, and all of them are in their shiny forms. Wait, that's kind of cool. Simply walk over to it and pick the starter you'd like to start your journey with. What about the Pachirisu? Oh, it's Professor Laurel's Pachirisu. Okay. Which region would you like your first Pokemon to be from? Okay, so we have Gens 1 through 8. No, 1 through 7. Okay. So no Galar yet. All right. Uh, oh, man. What do I want? What do I want? Oh, man. Um, this is rough. You know what? I'm gonna go with Litten. I have always liked Litten. I've never really used a Litten. So I'm gonna go with Litten. Yo, is that a shiny form? That thing looks sick. Black and white is such a good combination. Yes, I want that. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Let's go, dude. We have Litten on the team now. Should I give a nickname? Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to do that. All right. I think that that's almost all. I also have to give you one Pokedex and some Pokeballs. These are important tools when it comes to studying Pokemon. The Pokedex, in particular, can be quite useful when building up your team, since you can use it to look at Pokemon's base stats. Okay. Oh, and Mark, before you go, I think it'd be nice of you to say goodbye to Seth's mother. She did look after you. Or she did a lot to... Wait, what? She did look a lot after you, after all. Well, either way, I wish you good luck on your journey. Also, if you'd like for your starter to be in its normal form instead of its shiny one, have a word with one of my colleagues on the left. Why wouldn't I want the shiny form, dude? Of course I want the shiny form. That's amazing. Take a look at our uh, our Litten. All right, so obviously fire type, when it evolves, it'll be fire dark, I think. Neutral nature, blaze, obviously. Scratch, growl, and ember. Oh, and then EVs and IVs we can see at the end here. Uh, pretty decent IVs across the board. 12 to 16, it's not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It's like middle range. Finally! What took you so long? Quick, show me what Pokemon you chose. Ha! I knew you wanted a Fire-type. That's why I picked a Water-type. But I'm not going to fight you now. I'd rather let you train your Pokemon, and then see how good of a trainer you really are. I'll also build a strong team for myself, naturally. Oh, by the way, here, I got this for you. A Sky Flute? What does that do? You already know about these types of flutes, right? They work as replacements for HMs. With this one, for example, you can use it to call for a Pokemon to fly you to Pokemon centers that you've already visited. Like it helps you get around faster. Well, that's useful. Oh, uh, and I didn't get it for you or anything. It's just that my mom said I should give you something before I go. That's all. And after all, someone as slow as you will need all the help you can get to keep up with a professional like me. Well, I'll catch you later. Okay.
I do want to finish looking around first before we uh, head out. We should also go say goodbye to Seth's mother because that's the polite thing to do. Let's go do that real quick. Has Laurel already given you your Pokemon mark? Oh, that's a real cutie you have chosen. It's really nice of you to come and say goodbye to me before leaving. Meanwhile, my Seth was in a rush to get out of Norris as soon as possible. Here, I can't just let you go on an empty go. I can't let you go on an empty pocket. So here you go, and I simply refuse that you do not take it. Oh yes, a soothe bell. Fantastic. Remember that you'll always have a home here, Mark. And I'm certain that Seth feels the, the exact same way. So please stay safe and make sure that both you and Seth look after each other. Uh, let's, I might, might as well give that to Litten for now. No, no reason not to do that. All right. Have I already been here? I think I have. Yeah. Who lives here? Oh, it's my house. Why can't I open it then? And where are my parents? And also, there's a gym here. Oh, that, that has no gym leader. Dang. Uh, let's heal here, since I think we have to use the center uh, to be able to fly back. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. What do you do? I, oh, I can relearn old moves here. We can check happiness, rename, and check uh, check hidden power type. Not bad. All right. Let me go uh, to the mart real quick. Hold on. What the heck is this? Uh, wait, what? Changes IVs and hidden power. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Pokeballs are only 50. What do you sell? Heal balls and oh, these are so cheap, dude. Oh my god. What the heck? These are a steal. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I think it's time for us to begin our journey. Do we go this way? Is this Route 1? This is Tealwind Seaside. Oh, I can't do anything here without Surf. Okay, we'll head back then. All right, I think we go through the south exit then, right? Oh, that was a uh, east exit. Never mind. All right, south exit it is. All right, so I think what I'll do is we'll uh, we'll we'll catch and only use the first Pokemon that we see on a route. You know the Nuzlocke rule, but it's not a Nuzlocke. But I do like that rule though. Because it helps you use uh, a lot of interesting Pokemon. Okay. Alright. Ooh, what is that? It's a Destiny Knot. Dang, okay. Alright, what is it? What is our first Pokemon going to be? It's a Rockruff! Oh, that is so cool. Okay, um, it resists. Yeah, we're not going to do too much there. There's no way this thing has a rock attack this early, right? There's no way. We'll get it to yellow and then, uh, yeah, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and use our heal balls so it, uh, so we don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center. One, two, three, let's go. All right, our first Pokemon is a Rockruff. Not bad. Definitely not going to be going 
doing good against uh, water types, having a rock and a fire type, but, uh, you know, it's fine. Has boosted special attack and minus speed. That is not good. That is probably the worst nature we could have gotten because this thing's a physical attacker and it has lower speed. <laughs> so, yeah. I think somebody said that we could change the nature, though. We just gotta get to a town that sells nature bars. So, whenever we can get one of those, that'd be great. Celia Tunnels. You get an encounter here, too. Um, actually, uh, uh, we're not getting any encounter. Oh, there we, there we go. All right, what do we get for Celia Tunnels? We get a Smurgle. It's a shiny Smurgle. Oh, my God. I don't like Smurgle as a Pokemon, but it's a shiny. So I'm assuming the shiny rates are uh, a lot easier in this game, then. Our second encounter is literally a, a shiny. Interesting. Does this, th does this thing only know sketch? Or, oh my god. Okay, another rule I'm going to do is I'm only going to throw three balls at it. If he doesn't get caught in three balls, I'm leaving. Because I'm not going to deal with this. If I don't catch him within three Pokeballs, I'm just going to go. Last try. Okay, I'm not going to deal with this. I didn't realize Smurgle had such a high, uh, or I guess, low catch rate. Because those weren't even shaking multiple times. It was shaking once, and that was it. So that's not very, uh, very lucky for us. All right, let's move on. The background on this, the background looks amazing, dude. Look at this. It's a really good looking background. Should probably do some training up as well. Let's fight these wild rock roughs. So our, 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 uh, our rival does have a water type starter, so. Yeah, we're definitely gonna, gonna need something that's not weak to water that we can use against it. Made it to Aaron Town. Heard that before Team Arsenic was created, their leader abandoned his family. Jesus. Shortly after that, his wife left the Celia region, leaving her only child in the care of her old friends. Dang. Wait, am I that child? Wait, what'd you say? Paralysis has speed. And at the end of each turn, chips away 1 16th of its health. What the heck? Let me guess. I'm that child. I'm assuming I'm that child. <laughs> Bug types can't be put to sleep, and psychic types cannot be confused. Interesting. Very interesting. This game has definitely made a, a lot of changes. And that's interesting to see. Oh, we get free charcoal, dude. Not bad. I'll take that easy. Let me go ahead and hand that over to Litten. We'll pass the Soothe Bell along to Rockruff. East to Shiro. You'll face Paul, who specializes in dark types. Okay, good to know, good to know. What? We 
getting some really good information here. Frostbite. Okay. Got it. My snow runt knows glacial air. Can give Pokemon I'm facing a frostbite on command. That's okay. Well. Yep, a lot of new information we gotta uh we gotta remember. I'm here for it though. Oh. Oh, it's the professor. I'm sorry, Mark. I forgot to give you one last crucial item that'll help you raise your Pokemon, EXP all. It's called the experience share. Oh, is it not the all? Is it just the pre gen six? No, it is the all. Okay, never mind. It's an item trainers use to make their weaker Pokemon gain experience without battling. Also, you may need uh, you may be in need of these as well. Ten repels. Oh my god, this game gives me free repels, dude. Ten out of ten. Must play. <laughs> Best game of the year. <laughs> I love games. I love repels, dude. Use those repels to keep wild Pokemon away from you when you enter their habitat. Well, that's all. As I said earlier, please take care. Sure thing, Professor. Sure thing. I'll make you proud. Oh, free potion. All right. Uh, what route is this? Emerald Meadow. It's different from earlier, right? Just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, we caught Rock Rough in New Beginnings Path. Okay, it's going to get a new encounter here real quick before we move on. Please be something good against water types. It's an Igly buff. Okay. Okay. Um, not happy about that. I've never used an Igly buff, though. It evolves into Jigglypuff with happiness, right? So we need to give it the Soothe Bell. And then we need a Moonstone to get... We need a Moonstone to get a... Uh, Wiggly tough. The fact that it knows Sing could be help could be help it could be helpful, but uh Sing has like a fifty ac percent accuracy, right? It's like fifty fifty five or sixty. So it's not accurate at all, but it could be helpful. All right, I don't want to accidentally crit this thing and knock it out, so let me go ahead and try to catch it. Should have used a heal ball, oh well. Got it. All right. Eggly Buff is now on the team. It's very normal. Doesn't help us against our our rival's water type, but it will be helpful in the gym if it can learn a fairy attack. Because obviously fairy super effective on dark. Uh, nope, no, no nickname. Um... Gentle Nature has boosted special defense and lowered defense. I think that's fine. Oh, it has Pixelate! Wait, does this thing normally get Pixelate? That's kind of cool. It doesn't really matter for Iglybuff, though. Normal moves become Fairy moves. Like, it doesn't matter for Stab damage, but it does matter for Super Effective damage. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as a as pretty decent moves, it just needs a, an attacking move like tack like even tackle would be fine, because with pixelate tackle will be a fairy attack, and you know super effective against things that are weak to fairy. So that's nice. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, uh, here let me pass that soothe bell over to Iglybuff so we can get all the happiness in the world. Got to make sure it doesn't get knocked out. I didn't use a heal ball on it, but I will use a, re a potion just so it's at full health and ready to battle it at a moment's notice. All right. You're a beginner too? We should train together then. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Center it, got it. Good damage. Finish it. Darn. I guess I should train my Pokemon more, huh? Yeah, I guess you should. Do you specialize in a specific type of Pokemon? For me, bug types are the best. Oh, 
he's a Yanma. That's interesting. Hopefully we get some good XP from this. My bug Pokemon, were they not enough? Guess not. Is there a hidden item right there? Cleffa. Oh, we got two green shards. Not bad. Don't know what I can use shards for in this game, but I'll take them. Oh, wait, you can see there they made a change to Azuril. Normally it's uh, fairy normal. But in this game, they made it fairy water. Interesting. 5 have a Pokemon with you. You're a Pokemon trainer. You have to accept my challenge. I do. I didn't know that. Ooh, got paralysis. Not bad. Oh, it knows bubble this early. That's terrifying. It's an Azuril, though, so it's very weak. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, uh... Let's swap? Oh, man. No, I'm not gonna swap. Yes, we finished it. Let's go. That was very risky. The problem with my Igly buff right now is it doesn't have any attacking moves. So that's a pretty big problem right now, so it's hard to switch into it to do damage. If you see a tree with golden leaves, such as this one, you can put honey on it to instantly attract rare wild Pokemon. Okay, uh, I don't want to do that. Got it. Thanks for your knowledge. Oh, hello. Hi there. You're a trainer, aren't you? Say, can you do me a little favor? I was exploring the Fenland Woods just a few hours ago. When I came back to the town, I realized that I had lost my pack. Can you go and get it for me? If you manage to find it, I'll give you a nice reward for it. The woods are just to the south of the town, and my house is right next to the Pokemon Center. I'd go and get it myself, but my Pokemon were in that pack. Okay. Got a little side quest, no problem, I got you. A Glammeow. You can trade it with me in exchange for one of three different cat Pokemon. What would those be? Meow Meowth? Skitty? Alolan Meowth? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'll, I'll look for it, dude. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll find it. For now, I'll teach you uh, metronome. Oh, okay. For important battles, it'll always be on set. I play on set anyway, so it's fine. Does this sell the same stuff as before? Yeah. Honey for 100, nest balls for 70. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm pretty broke. I used the center, right? I'm pretty sure I used the center. Yeah, I think we used it. Okay, we've entered Fenland Woods. I went and caught a bunch of different bug type Pokemon. Take a look. Lediba. Good burn. Oh, he got cured of the burn because of Swarm. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, so Swarm can help uh, cure status status effects. Got it. Burmy. Surskit. It's only neutral damage. Oh, bubble. Oh, that did so much. We're fine, though. Oh, wait. Cricketog is bug normal. Interesting. Okay. I definitely should... I, I love that it shows their typings right there. Like, on their little... Uh, on their name right there, next to their name. Just because if this game do, has made changes to Pokemon's typings, I would love to know what they are. So I should always look at that. So far we've seen a couple changes. Nothing big. They just made Cricketot, I'm assuming Cricketune as well, normal types. As well as making a Zumaril, uh Water Fairy. So nothing huge so far, but definitely interesting. Wait, what? It's a male combi. I mean, I'll use it for now, but this thing's not going to evolve, so <laughs> it's definitely not going to be useful later on. Wait, if, if you give this thing honey, it gets health back every turn? Oh my god, wait, that's, a, wait, that's interesting. What the heck? So it's like leftovers for Combi. Or like black sludge for poison types. And this thing's not getting caught. Here, let me use a... Uh, I bought nest balls. Let me go ahead and use one of those. So yeah, this thing will also help in the, uh, the next gym since bug is super effective on dark. You want to learn roar? Um... No, I'm fine. Iglybuff wants to learn Pound. Let's go. Uh, I think we get rid of Metronome for Pound. Awesome. All right, cool. Combi is now on the team. If it gets health back for holding Honey, I'll just keep the Honey on him. Boosted attack, lowered special attack. I don't know how good that is. I don't really... I've never used a combi, so I don't know if it's more physical or special. Uh, but it does have a special attack, so it's not a great start. Uh, you learning pound is amazing, because now you can actually do damage, and I appreciate that. Uh, my rock ref has not learned a rock attack yet, but hopefully soon. Hopefully. Um, all right. Here, I don't want to run into encounters every every step I take, so I'm going to go ahead and repel up a bit. The Serenity of the Forest. Isn't it just so relaxing? Yeah, it's, it's a great forest. Can't complain. Low tad to start. Okay, at least it didn't use Water Gun, so that's a... That's a positive.
Oh, you disturbed our relaxing session. Wait, what do you mean I disturbed it? You're the one that wanted to battle me. Oh, a Whalmer Pale. I am never going to replant the berries, though, because it... Ooh, what? HP Citrus. Wait, what is that? Raises the HP IVs of a Pokemon by five. Wait, really? I think... Wigglytuff has really good HP, like, base stat-wise. So I think we'll use that on Igglybuff. So it should have gone on from 21 to 26. Perfect. Forests are pretty special, you know. As you may have noticed, wild Pokemon can attack you even if you're not inside the tall grass. And the Pokemon you encounter outside the tall grass tend to be of different species from the one you'll find inside of it. Interesting. Got two more green shards. I also saw a Pokeball that I missed up here. TM86 Grass Knot. I don't have a grass type, but if anybody can learn that, that'd be amazing. I'll show you how a real professional handles a battle. Okay, let's see it. I would love to learn from a, from a professional. Dwebble. Interesting. That's fine. Oh my god, it has Bubble Beam. Wow. I got absolutely obliterated. That thing had Bubble Beam at level 5, dude. I got level 5 Bubble Beamed. That's crazy. Oh, Bug Resists. Okay, I'm going to put it to sleep then. I can't... Oh, Bug... Okay, I'm just getting destroyed then. <laughs> Uh, I might lose this. I act... I, okay, we, we have to sack off Rack, Rock Ruff. We have to sack off Rock Ruff. And then get a clean swap into my into my uh, Combi and use Gust. See, I'm not paying attention to the, uh, the changes. Bug types cannot be put to sleep. And they also resist Fairy. So that was a horrible decision on my part to do that. Oh, thank you, Combi. You actually saved the day. Oh my god, dude. I did not expect that thing to have Bubble Beam. That's insane. Alright, uh, we need to go heal, because our team got obliterated by a Sur... I almost got 1v4'd by a Surskit. I I legit almost one got 1v4'd by Surskit of all Pokemon, dude. That's crazy. I mean, that's what... It, I mean... Bubble Beam obliterated my Fire type and my Rock type. My Iggly Buff could do no damage. He also couldn't put it to sleep because it's a Bug type. So yeah, if my Combi didn't finish that, if it didn't finish right there, we would have literally lost that battle. It's crazy. Ooh, what are those? Colberberries. I don't know what these do. Free repel. Oh, we found the special package. Nice. Uh, all right, let's continue. Let's go back. I'm assuming this is the package that we need to deliver. So let's go ahead and do that real quick before we uh, leave. Right here. 
Oh, that's it. You found it. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for this. Oh, right, the reward. Here, this is a useful device which you can use for finding hidden items, like the ones under rocks or buried under the grass. I'm sure you can make great use of it. Ooh, an item finder. Let's go. Not bad. All right, awesome. Anything else? Nope. All right. Let's heal up. Let's go to the mart, see if we can buy anything, and then we'll uh, we'll head back to the forest and, you know, find the exit. Did I make any money from those fights? No, I did not. Oh, repels are only 50. Interesting. So items are very cheap, except for potions. But we also don't make a lot of money from uh, from battles, from what I can tell. Like, we fought a lot of trainers and made very little money from those, from those fights. That's interesting. Let's go and repel up again. Here we are. All right, uh, before we continue forward, I think for now we're gonna go ahead and end this first episode off here and we will continue on next time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.